good evening everyone i am dr amar prakash i am here to uh, give paper presentation on prevalence of interstitial lung abnormalities in hrct chest uh, my uh, guide uh, is dr b k soni professor hod of the department of radio diagnosis uh, inh ashwini i am a final year resident in institute of naval medicine inh ashwini kolaba mumbai so uh, uh in introduction we will uh, uh since uh, we will see uh, interstitial lung abnormality is a radiologic abnormality uh, and uh, uh, on chest uh, uh, ct it is thought to be an early and mild form of pulmonary fibrosis there is a growing awareness of the clinical significance of interstitial lung abnormalities incidentally found on the chest ct so a possible association between interstitial uh, abnormalities and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis has been uh, found in the literature and there are reports that interstitial lung abnormalities can progress to clinically significant interstitial lung uh, disease so uh, with keeping this in, in mind uh, we have to have a how prevalent are these interstitial lung abnormalities so with the recent development of anti fibrotic therapy for the patient with interstitial pulmonary fibrosis early identification of these interstitial pulmonary abnormalities interstitial lung abnormalities is is uh, become important and uh, for their management we have to start early treatment so uh, and however there are very few specific study on this topic uh, which which is why i i am i am here so my aim is to found the uh, prevalence and to know the significance of an interstitial lung abnormality which can progress to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis so my de study design is observational study at ashwini kolaba and uh, my duration was 2 year uh, with ethical committee approval and my sampling uh, was 114 and data collection was obtained after uh, uh hrct chest of the patient who give their consent to the study and data which included name of the patient age basic details and the chest finding and interstitial lung abnormalities uh finding and data was com collected and compiled the uh, data was uh, divided into classified into radiological uh, abnormalities like reticulations mosaicism ground glass interaction bronchiectasis and honeycombing so what i what i have found is the uh, what i have found is ki there is a uh, overall incidence is 4% which is quite high and we have to detect it early and uh, we have to recommend uh, according to the uh, the uh, situation of the patient and uh, to the progression of the disease so that it can be uh, that uh, progression of this interstitial lung abnormality to the fibrosis can be um, um, stopped at that point of time so what i have found is reticulation found in 66% uh, of the patient who have found out to be a interstitial lung abnormalities out of 1154 patient i have found out in 45 uh, uh, patients which is uh, 4% and out of that uh, uh, total 45 patients uh, patient were having reticulation was 66% ground glassing in 57% traction bronchitis in 37% mosaic mosaicism in 8.8% and honeycombing in 8.8% so uh, there is a possible correlation between idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and interstitial lung abnormalities so the my emphasis is the incidence of in, in, interstitial lung abnormalities who the patient who are undergoing hrct chest is quite high that is 4% so we have to have in mind where if the interstitial lung abnormality has been found we have to uh, accordingly guide the treating physician or the uh, guide to the patients so there is a high uh, probability of interstitial lung disease uh, that radiologist should recommend a general approach to the interstitial lung disease if there is a high probability of interstitial lung disease in interstitial lung abnormalities patients so basically uh, the radiologist should be aware of the relevant and irrelevant radiological finding of interstitial lung abnormality and review them with consideration of clinical symptoms and pulmonary function so my uh, emphasis is on to do not ignore the interstitial lung abnormalities uh, and these are quite high uh, with respect to the patient who are undergoing hrct chest so there is a high, and there is a high probability to get into 
converted into idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and so that radiology, uh, radiology should be aware and recommend a general approach to interstitial lung disease. These are my references. Uh, thank you very much.